Britain is growing rice for the first time ever. Basmati rice, sushi rice, risotto. These are all being trialled in paddy fields in Cambridgeshire. Nationally, peat soils account for 3% of our greenhouse gas emissions. So the ground is literally sinking and as it vanishes, that carbon that has been locked in for tens of thousands of years gets released back into the atmosphere. Now remember what I said. Okay, so plants take in carbon dioxide from the air when they grow. They use it to build their leaves, their roots, their stems. And normally when plants die, they rot and that carbon dioxide gets released back into the atmosphere. But in a wetland, that ground is waterlogged, which means that there's not enough oxygen for full decay. So the plants don't break down. They just pile up layer after layer, year after year. So all of that carbon stays locked into the soil. And that's a good thing because the carbon stays buried instead of heating up the atmosphere. But it only works when the peat is wet and today most of the fens are no longer wet. Carbon staying buried is good but once it escapes it turns into greenhouse gases which is the very thing heating up the planet and driving climate change. As Craig said this is about rethinking the whole system and making it work for everyone. There used to be 150,000 hectares of peat in the Cambridgeshire fens but today there's only 24 thousand and they're disappearing. If this all works, the UK gets locally grown rice, carbon emissions are cut, there's a new habitat for wildlife and the soil gets protected before, before it's gone for good.